Have you previously played King's Quest? Hello everyone and welcome back to King's Quest V. Um, I have messed around with the game a little bit since last time. <clears throat> and I think I know what I need to do. Let's see what happens here. Oh, actually. I also want to apologize for the volume in the last video. I didn't even realize the volume was up so high until the end of it. So, sorry about that. So what we have to do is just walk around until Mordax Blue Monster shows up. Oh, there he is. to remember to slow it down before I do the next part. Um, so then you take the fish hook. There, got it. Oops. The fish hook did the trick in retrieving the piece of cheese from the mouse hole. If you would have looked in there first, you would have seen that there was a piece of cheese. Sorry. Well, that's what the fish hook's for from the Harpy Island. Hello. Hey. What? Princess Cosima, where did you come from? From the labyrinth. I spend a lot of time down here, you know, with my friends. Friends? Yes, like Zink and Sam. I don't know if you ever saw Sam or not. Anyway, I found this loose stone once that led here, to this cell. Now come on, you'd better get out of here. All right, um, I believe that's all there is in here, so let's get out of here. Oh, jeez. Good thing she knows where she's going. Hope I don't lose her. Jeez, come on. Alright, I am going to save it right now because I know <clears throat> that if that blue monster catches you again, she won't come and save you. So you got to be quick this time, which I'm going to turn the speed down some... Oh, I know this is going to take a little while. Just bear with me. I don't want to miss my chance. Um, let me just get ready here. Take the bag of peas. Get them ready right there. I just like to get them out because we're going to have to be quick here. There he is. Oh, Too geez. late. Ah, I missed it. stone can't be budged anymore. Hmm. Okay, well, I tried to be careful and I still screwed it up. Try again. Man, this is going to be a little painful watching it go this slow.
All right, I'm ready for you now. Come on. Jeez, come on. You're not going to show up, are you? It's just, it's random. <clears throat> You're going to be here. Mm -hmm. Shit, I don't know where he's going to come from. This way? Oh, shit. Damn it. That's the other thing. If the cat sees you, he's going to go... Those claws look awfully sharp. He's going to go tell Mordak. So now... You! How did you get here? I have journeyed far over land and sea. Never mind. Your journey is now over. So now Mordak's going to come and kill me. So I'm just going to restore it right here. Come on. There he is. Yes. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Get the bag ready. The he will come back, so hurry up. Hope the cat's right here. Yep. Take the pee bag. You how did you get here? Oh shit, no 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 no. I have journeyed far. Never so mind. Much. Fuck. You had to distract him with the fish first. Alright, I screwed that one up. Try again. Damn it, of course he's not here now. Oh shit! Are you kidding? Son of a bitch. Come on, blue guy. I know you're here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There he is. Okay. Fuck, the cat is not there. Of course he's not. Not when I need him to be. Oh no! Damn it, cat. You're gonna fuck me up. There he is! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Now get him with the bag. Get him with the bag. <laughs> it wouldn't be wise for Graham to carry the cat around. I don't think I should leave him in the guy's bedroom either. I didn't notice this down here before last time either. Um, let's see. Spell book. Hmm, this looks interesting. Graham wonders what the symbols mean. Numerous books. The strange symbols have been burned into Graham's memory. Oh, cool. And there is no need to look at them again. Perhaps they'll be of use later. 
Since most of Mordak's books and scrolls are beyond Graham's comprehension, he wisely decides to ignore them. Okay, then. Um, I don't think there's anything else you can do in here. I know that I have to wait. None of these particular books interest Graham. None of these... Per Since most of Mordak... I know that you just have to wait until he comes in here and gets in his bed. <clears throat> but I don't know that you're supposed to find the cat and bag him up right in the guy's room. It would look a little suspicious, so... Hopefully this works. I'm just gonna wait. Oh, there he is. Who's not even watching? Okay. Go. <laughs> he didn't even see the cat. Supposed to grab his wand. It would not be a good... Damn it. And hurry. <clears throat> hurry, 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 hurry. Damn it, I didn't save it. Oh, uh. oh no. I'm gonna save it on this one. Okay. Look at the jar. Looking at his frantically waving family inside their glass prison causes Graham's heart to break as he realizes his current inability to save them from their terrible predicament. There's a wand... <clears throat> a wand charger here somewhere. Is it that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... If I take... <clears throat> Take Mordak's wand, one side. Crispin's dead wand on the other side. I don't know that it matters what side you put them on. And a piece of cheese from the cell, right in the middle. Graham tosses the moldy cheese into the machine's bubbling liquid. Mordak's wand now barely glows. Perhaps its power has weakened while Crispin's old wand now appears completely energized. All right, here we go. What's going on here? I'll take care of you, you swine. What the? What have you done to my wand? You think you can outwit me, little man? Ha! Let me show you a thing or two. Oh, shit. Okay, this is going to be my first attempt doing this. <clears throat> so, this could be fun. Um, you have to turn them in the right order. Let's try... I think that's supposed to be rain cloud. Let's try it. Oops. I didn't think it was going to be on me. That wasn't a very smart move. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, uh, I don't remember what these really are. Let's uh, just try this one. That wasn't a very smart move, Graham. That wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see I was trying to look at that book again because I didn't see what these are or if it even said let's do this one yeah get him why you little alright so that was that was right try again 
dragon, dragon, dragon. We do with dragon. Let's uh, let's do this one. I don't know what this one is yet. Oh wait, oh, that was. Uh, I don't know what that one is. Shit. Okay. That wasn't <laughs> a very smart. All right, that wasn't it either. All right, first tiger. Why, you little? I didn't do this one yet. I don't know what it is, so I'm gonna try it. Rabbit. Oh, yeah! You think you're so smart, don't you? Well, I've got you now! Snake. Uh, 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 uh. Say uh. goodbye, swine. Alright, so... Lizard, is it... That looks like a rabbit to me. Or... Just do this this one. Yeah. So it 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 the way you want to play. I don't think that's a lizard. I don't know what that is. All right, now we need rainstorm, obviously. And that's it. Mordak is dead, I believe. Warning, this cartoon contains... Now why won't you work? Well, I did it. Mordak is dead. Dead? Are you sure? Maybe he's only trying to trick you. He's dead, all right. He turned himself into a fire, and I put him out with rainwater. He'll never bother anyone else ever again. But now I have a bigger problem. I don't know what to do about my family or my castle. I don't know how to turn them back to normal. After all you've been through, there must be a way. What about Cedric? Crispin! I have the solution to all your problems, Graham. While you and Cedric were gone, I did some asking around, and I found out that your son, Alexander, had the dubious distinction, if you may, of turning Mordak's brother, Mananan, into a cat some time back. Obviously, this deed angered Mordak, who could do nothing about it, since this particular spell could only be undone by the actual perpetrator, your son. It doesn't take a great genius to figure out that Mordak took your family and castle in revenge to try to persuade Alexander to restore Mananan back to his old self. I did discover, I knew that. now I see, that your you castle gypsy. and family were miniaturized and imprisoned inside a glass bottle. I did some research and found the spell for turning everything back to normal. Now watch! Hocus! Hocus! Aliopus! My children! My joy knows no limits! Oh, Father! I'm so glad you're here! Oh!
Princess Cosima, how could I forget you? Come over here. Let me introduce you to my family. This is my wife, Queen Valenice, my daughter, Princess Rosella, and my son, Prince Alexander, who started this whole mess. All of you, this is Princess Cosima from the land of the Green Isles. Without her, none of us would be standing here now. She bravely saved my life. My lady, I am deeply in your debt and I will make it up to you. With your permission, I'd like to travel to the land of the Green Isles to see you. Cedric's still dead. No one seems to care. <laughs> all right, now that we've done with all the formalities, let's get on with business, shall we? Higgledy! Higgledy! Pooh! Be assured that your castle is right back where it belongs, and the right size, too. But now it's time that everyone returns to their homes. With my help, of course. Alakazam, Alakazoo, Alaka. Wait, what about Cedric? Oh. Where is Cedric? Over there. Mordak may have killed him. Is there anything you can do about it? Hmm. Let me think. Ah, yes. I think I know. Abra. Abracabara? No, uh... Abracadora? Hmm. Now what is that confounded word? Oh, yes! Abracadabra! Yay! Oh, Christo! Cedric, it sure is good to see you again. Oh, likewise, I'm sure. All right, enough is enough. Let's get on with it. Okay, Cosima, let's send you home first. Wasn't that the land of the Green Isle? Yes, that's right. I can't wait to see my parents again. Goodbye, Alexander. Perhaps we'll meet again. You can be sure of that, my lady. Before you send us all home, Crispin, I just want to thank you for all your help. And you too, Cedric. I wouldn't be standing here with my family without you two. I'm deeply, deeply grateful. All in a day's work, my boy. All in a day's work. Right, Cedric? Right, Crispin. Okay, back home you go. Alakazam. Alakazoo. Alakazee. Yay! Well, there she is. Our happy home. And we're all safe and sound once more. Let's go home, shall we? Yes, let's. Well, I'm going to watch this to see if, make sure there's nothing else that happens at the end, but thanks everyone for watching again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. This is the last episode of King's Quest V. Um, I believe I'm just going to go and play King's Quest VI next. So if anyone wants to see that, if you want to see a different one, uh, let me know in the comments. Again, uh, your advice is always welcome on how to make better videos or um, expand my channel, grow my channel. Um, it is still pretty small, but um, or let me know what you guys want to see, I and mean, I'm just just trying different things right now. So, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave me some comments, and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks. Later. <laughs>